Since the founding of Pete's Custom Coach Building, the shop has had the opportunity to work on and restore a variety of automobiles. However, one of the projects that stands out the most is a restored Berkeley SE492. And part of what makes this project so unique is the rich and interesting history of the Berkeley sports car. Berkeley Coachworks produced caravans, known in the U.S. as campers, from 1947 to 1960 in their factory located in Biggleswade, England. During this time, the company was known as one of the largest manufacturers of caravans in Europe. Today, however, the company is remembered more for the unique automobiles it produced, some of which made their way to the United States. In 1955, Charles Panter of Berkeley Coachworks was approached by Lowry Bond. Lowry Bond, of course, was famous for his work on the mini car, and he approached Mr. Panter about building a micro sports car. Panter's experience with glass fiber construction gained through years of producing caravans was instrumental in the construction of Berkeley sports cars. The project was definitely a logical and effective task for Berkeley Coachworks to take on. They knew what they were doing with fiberglass construction and they had already been brainstorming ideas to fill in the seasonal gaps left by the caravan market. Berkeley Cars Limited was born. And between 1956 and 1960, the company produced novel sports car designs by Lowry Bond in the Berkeley Coachworks factory owned by Charles Panter. The resulting vehicle was independently sprung and ultra-light. The two-seated car featured a unitary fiberglass chassis and capitalized on just the 15 horsepower developed by its tiny 322cc engine. Later cars saw additional horsepower added by Excelsior engines, and various models included a three-wheeled car, and one that would seat four, as opposed to the more common two-seater. The small British sports car imported into the U.S. from 1957 through 1960. With a 70-inch wheelbase, it was one of the smallest cars ever marketed here in the United States. Berkeleys were very attractive and reasonably quick, unlike most micro cars. About 4,200 were built, of which about 1,000 came here. During their production, Berkeleys gained some popularity in the U.S. as racing cars. Berkeleys right out of the factory were, were considered great quality candidates for racing since they were lightweight and um, relatively fast. Um, for the type of racing that they were doing. Though the involvement of Berkeleys in that era in sports car racing is not extremely well documented, it's known that Berkeleys competed not only in races put together by the Sports Car Club of America, but in numerous races organized by various clubs across the U.S. and abroad. The goal for the restoration of the 1958 Berkeley SE492 in the shop at Pete's Custom Coach Building was to recreate how a Berkeley used in racing might have appeared when altered beyond its factory features, giving the vehicle the look and characteristics of a period Berkeley race car. The Berkeley was a 1958 SE492 with a three-cylinder Excelsior motor built in England. The Berkeley was in pretty decent shape when it came in, but a lot of the parts we had to refab. On a lot of restoration situations, we can just buy the parts from a parts catalog, but in the Berkeley situation, we had to use the existing parts and rebuild every single one of them. The rims were definitely a part of the car that if we could have bought new rims, we would have. Um, they were in pretty bad shape and, and took a lot of work just to restore um, those rims where, um, say we were restoring uh, a different car, you might be able to go to a store and, and buy those rims or have them ordered or shipped in from the factory. And there were just a, a lot of parts on the Berkeley that we weren't able to do this with. Everything on the car has to be made new again. Berkeley is made out of a fiberglass body shell. It's built in three pieces, 
um, and it has, uses aluminum to brace up the fiberglass. The fiberglass is not like today's standards. It's full of holes, pits, um, air bubbles, gaps. So we have to do a extensive body work to straighten all those holes out, primers, fillers, and um, paints. What we are doing with the Berkeley Project went above and beyond restoration. It, it was reimagining a vehicle. When the Berkeley came in, we were challenged with the restoration of the car as a restoration project, but we also were challenged with turning it into a period correct race car. What the customer wanted was what could have happened in 1958 if someone bought this car from Berkeley and decided to race it. There was a lot of research that had to be done during this project, and we had to ask ourselves, um, what would someone living in the late 50s, um, what would they do to a vehicle like this to get it race ready? This could have happened in 1958, so all the bolts, all the, all the workings of the car are period correct. Right off the assembly line, the Berkeleys had a great potential um, as racing vehicles. Um, but there were still so many modifications that would have had to been done um, before a driver would take these out on the track. We lowered the Berkeley two and a half inches and um, did a lot of modifications that could have happened in, in 58, 59, 60 when these cars were raced. Interior, the motor. The Berkeley interior was handcrafted and custom designed, as was commonplace in racing. Seats that would have been used for everyday driving have been taken out and replaced by a sleek two-man bench outfitted with durable padding. Adhered to the car were white vinyl spheres. Then, as such tasks would have been done in period racing, numbers were hand-painted onto the vehicle. The Berkeley project um, really reminded me of, of writing a history report. Um, we had to check our facts and we had to get everything period correct. Um, we had to do this so that it told the right story. It told the story of how these cars were raced in the late 50s and early 60s. There's not many Berkeleys out there, so we had to do our research and take our time. Our attention to detail and our attention to history um, those are part of what makes our shop unique. We wanted to show that these cars were involved in a whole era of racing. The 1958 Berkeley race car is a great example of the ingenuity and diversity of Pete's custom coach building. The crew at the shop specializes in taking on the odd, rare, and obscure. Though the project took a lot of legwork, research, and may have caused a few headaches along the way, everyone participating in the project enjoyed it for the unique experience and uncommon undertaking that it was. The shop enjoys taking on unique projects. Unique projects like the Berkeley race car. <laughs>